Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man walah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. And welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the ProductiveMuslim.com Habitator. Well, this Habitator worksheet is basically a habit list. And a habit list is a very, very effective tool to help you develop habits or destroy habits which you'd like to not have. So whether you want to develop good habits or stop bad habits, this habit list will help you do so. So what's unique about the Productive Muslim Habit List or the Habitator? Well, we actually try to add a bit of spin to it and help you categorize your habits into three main areas. The first area is called the spiritual habits. So here's where you're going to develop habits such as praying on time every single day, reading half an hour of Quran every single day, um, giving at least, you know, one dollar of charity every single day. Um, for example, it could be something that you'd like to do every single day on a spiritual basis, praying witr every single day, and so on and so forth. So these are spiritual, personal, worship type of habits which you'd like to do every, every single day. The second type of habits to develop is physical habits. For example, exercising every single day, maybe jogging, maybe uh, making sure that you eat breakfast uh, every single day, making sure they don't eat dinner past I know 7 p.m. for example every single day. So these are habits which will help you improve your physical um, sort of productivity and being able to become much more physically more productive inshallah. The third type of habits are social habits. So this example, contacting um, your parents and your relatives and people whom you know, uh, contributing towards the local masjid and uh, the local um, volunteer group, making sure that you are, for example, visiting the sick or, or asking about people. So things, things which will be, make help you become more socially productive. So as I said to you, this habit, this um, habit list or habitator will help you develop habits or destroy bad habits, whether so developing good habits or destroy bad habits. And the way you do this is once you've written your habit for uh, the the month, what you do is simply once you write it down, is simply give yourself a tick under each of these days. This is the, this is the number of days in the month. So first day, second day, third day. So give yourself a tick whenever you actually do the particular task or habit and leave it blank if you haven't done it. At the end of the month, you give yourself a total points. And your target should be above 25. If for 25 days you're able to maintain this habit in a single month, that means that you have, inshallah, successfully developed this habit and it will be a habit and it'll be something you can do every single day. And if also, if you were able to stop doing a bad habit for over 25 days, inshallah, that's a good sign that you've almost destroyed the habit. Now, of course, sometimes habits do relapse. Sometimes bad habits do come back to you. So it's good to keep this going for at least two to three months, making sure that, for example, the bad habit has been completely destroyed. So aim to get above 25 points in each of these habits, and you'll be in a great way, great shape to develop a good habit or destroy a bad habit. Now, people ask me, how many habits should I have per month? Normally, I recommend that you should not try to develop more than three habits per month. It can be a lot if you develop, you know, uh, 15 habits. That becomes too much to handle. So it could be, for example, praying witr every single day. That could be your first spiritual habit, which you can do for a whole month and try to achieve it. It could be, for example, uh, in the physical, physical habits, it could be, for example, uh, jogging around your block for 10 minutes. You know, that's a habit which you like to develop in physical productivity. So choose habits which are easy, which are measurable, which you can, you know, you can know that you can do every single day. And once you've done it for over a month, then you can add more habits and increase your habits for the month, inshallah. Remember that we are as humans creatures of habits and that habits shape our characters. So it's very, very important that you develop the good habits in your life. And you try, and very important to, to also stop the bad habits in your, in your life. There's nothing such as it's impossible, or I can't do it, or I never can do this. It's always possible. But take baby steps, keep trying, and give yourself a tick whenever you achieve the habit. And, and, leave, and inshallah, over time, you'll, those good habits will come to you and become easier for you to develop. And those bad habits will be destroyed, inshallah ta'ala. 
Jazakumullah khair. I hope you enjoyed this happy tater. And if you have any queries or feedback, feel free to email us at productivemuslim at gmail.com or visit our resources section on the Productive Muslim website and leave a comment on the, the happy tater post, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.